Good day, grade 4. Let's talk about Philippine heroes. Do you still remember some? Let's start. These four are examples of our Philippine heroes. Can you identify their names and how did they become a hero? How do you become a leader here in the Philippines? Here are four qualities. First is if you fought hard for the country, as shown by Andres Bonifacio and Emilio Aguinaldo. Second, just like Jose Rizal and the Gombers of priests, they died for the country. And third, we have ordinary Filipino citizens, just like our OFWs policemen, doctors, and so on and so forth. And lastly, our heroes are from the islands of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Okay, let's start. Here are some of the heroes from National Capital Region or from NCR. As you all know, he is Andres Bonifacio, the Supremo or the leader of KKK, Kataas-taasang, Kagalang-galangang Katipunan ng Mga Anak ng Bayan. And his wife is named Gregoria de Jesus, also known by her nickname Oryang, who was the founder and vice president of the women's chapter of the Katipunan. Punan of the Philippines. She was also the custodian of the documents and seal of the Katipunan. And here we have Tandang Sora or Melchora Aquino de Ramos, who was a Filipina revolutionarist and became known because of her age during the Philippine Revolution. She was known as the Grand Woman of the Revolution and the mother of Balintawak for her contributions. Region 1 heroes include Gabriela Silang or Maria Josefa Gabriela Carino de Silang, who was a Filipina military leader and is best known for her role as the female leader of the Ilocano independence movement from Spain. And we have Juan Luna, who was a Filipino painter, sculptor, and a political activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century. He became one of the first recognized Philippine artists by the painting called Spoliarium. And his brother, Antonio Luna, is a great general who fought hard against the Americans. From Region 3, we have Marcelo del Pilar, who was part of the Ilustrados during the propaganda movement with the newspaper La Solidaridad. He is the editor. And then we have Trinidad Texon, known as the mother of Biak na Bato and mother of mercy, fought to gain Philippine independence. She was given the title Mother of Biak na Bato by General Emilio Aguinaldo. She was also cited as the mother of the Philippine National Red Cross for her service to her fellow Katipuneros. And lastly, we have Gregorio del Pilar, a Filipino general of the Philippine Revolutionary Army during the Philippine-American War. And during his battle, he died in Pasong Terad. Here are your favorite heroes from Region 4A. We have Jose Rizal, who is the national hero of the Philippines and wrote two novels called Noli Metangere and El Filibusterismo, and General Emilio Aguinaldo, the first Philippine president, and Apolinario Mabini, who is known as the brains of the Philippine Revolution. Our first Philippine hero is Lapu-Lapu. He protected the country from the invasion of Magellan's team. He killed Magellan in Mactan. And we have here Francisco de Gohoy. He was a Filipino revolutionarist who holds the distinction of having initiated the longest revolt in Philippine history, which is called the Gohoy Rebellion. This rebellion against the Spanish colonial government took place on the island of Bohol from 1744 to 1829, roughly 85 years. Now, let's talk about our modern-day heroes. First are the OFWs, or called Overseas Filipino Workers. They work abroad and they contribute remittances to help the Philippine economy. Do you know anyone who is an OFW, maybe in your family or your relatives? 
Heroes can also be faithful soldiers and policemen who defends the country and protects the Filipinos' freedom. Last, ordinary Filipino peoples, young or old, male or female, rich or poor, you can be a hero on your own way. They exhibit love, care, help to fellow Filipino people, and some are even awarded with Bayaning Filipino Award. Do you want to achieve that award too? Okay, so as a review, we have different Filipino leaders. First is they fought hard for the country. Second, they died for the country. Third, just like us, ordinary Filipino citizens. And lastly, heroes come from the islands of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Don't forget that each Filipino citizen contributes to the growth of the country by being responsible, faithful, and supportive to the needs of their fellow citizens and the whole country.